Okay, so this is how to do a factory reset with the Sing thing. Uh, there are actually three different style or kinds of factory resets you can do. There is a preset reset, which restores this to just the factory presets. So if you had any saved presets that you brought in from voice support or that you created and edited yourself, um, this is going to get rid of those. If you do find that you've created some, reset, some presets that you really like and you want to save them, also use voice support. You can save them onto voice support. Um, uh, the second one you can do is called a settings uh, reset, which just restores all of the settings back to your factory reset. And then factory reset is, um, it just wipes everything and makes it exactly the way it was when you took it out of the box. So if I didn't mumble over and stumble over too many of those words that all sound very similar, um, this is how you do a preset reset. Uh, you're going to hold the store button and the genre buttons while powering on. So I'm just going to just turn this off for a moment. And while I'm turning it on, I'm going to hold those down. The power switch is on the back of the unit and that's doing its thing. And the current genre has no presets. Well, bam. Okay. So we're, we're there. We did it. Preset. Reset. Uh, the next one is a settings reset. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold the store um, genre and mix buttons while powering on. So I'll turn that off again. So mix, store, genre, all three are held down and powering on. And I can let those go when you see that screen there. Voila. And the third one, the factory reset, you're going to hold the uh, mix and harmony buttons while you're uh, powering on. So turn it off again. Got my harmony, my mix, turning it on with the power button on the back. Get that blue screen and there. Voila! The three factory resets. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And uh, please like the video if you liked it, you found it helpful. And if you want any other tips and tricks on our gear, subscribe to the video, to the YouTube channel so that you don't miss anything. Thanks.